Welcome back. 740 on your Sunday morning and school is now about a month into the semester for college students and many freshmen will tell you the busy schedule makes it easy to just chow down instead of staying in shape and that's why nutrition expert Lisa Lynn is here this morning. So we're talking about those stressful yes. freshman 15. Mm -hmm. You got to explain yeah, what these are, is these this? These are fat grams. But I mean fat blobs. Each one is five pounds. So, you know, a lot of people think this freshman 15 is a myth. It in fact, is not. In this fact, is so are, disgusting. Yeah, this is 15. <laughs> Here's the bigger problem because it's not that small where you gain a little weight when you go to school. Once, um, especially females gain this 15, the odds of them losing it slim to none. Ugh. For the rest of their life, it's a, a life film. Now, I struggled since I was like two years old, and I talk about this in my book. So I, I'm like, yeah, I don't have much empathy for that section because <laughs> you struggle, but it's an important time to flip the switch for weight gain off. Right. right away. Well, and it's an important time to get into those exercise habits because it, it just gets tougher down the road. Totally. And no matter, everybody has to have that I call it come to Jesus moment where you've got to get those healthy habits. Why not start now, whether you're in college or not? Right, exactly. So this could really apply to anyone, not just this college. This applies kids. to everybody. All Thank right, you so for saying that. How do we start? Okay, first thing you want to do in the morning to flip that weight gain switch off because once it starts running on, it runs rampant. It starts at breakfast, by the way, by boosting your energy and your metabolism. Okay. I want to say energy mood because if you feel energetic and you're in a good mood, you're going to eat better and that's always the best metabolic boost. But here's what a lot of people are doing. They run out, they hear me here, and they think, well, I'm just like this, this one really presents well. I'm not going to name any brands. It looks like it's holier than thou, pumped with sugar and fat. Shocked me, to be honest with you. Not and not that's not the only thing. So it's important when you go out there and you're looking for a smoothie, which I really recommend. This is like the dorm room smoothie. Okay. Because it's simple, easy, effortless. You lose weight while you're learning how to eat. All right. And the smoothies are so quick to go. Well, how quick you know, is this? This is coffee. Okay. I threw some ice in it. Any glass paper will work. Mm -hmm. This is what I call my melt fat milk, which is my whey protein shake. You just shake it, pour it right in there. Like this. Oh. How hard is this? And I have to tell you, um, nothing against any of the brands out there, but if you've tasted any of the commercial smoothies, you've never tasted one that tastes this good. But it's also promotes weight loss, where girls, you cannot be drinking what your boys are drinking. Or if you want to lose weight, period, you have to make sure it's geared to weight loss. Right. Because they're not all geared to weight loss. Okay. And then this is how many. Oh, how cute is, is this? this? So, by the way, Push away the dorm room diet or corporate diet if you're eating and you're a CEO and go for thermogenic eating. Mm. By the way, this is not that hard. I actually, what is thermogenic eating? Thermogenic it does means, not sound delicious. No, it to actually me. is really delicious, but here's <laughs> the better benefit. Thermogenic means creates heat in your body, which boosts the metabolism. Okay. So if you're someone out there, I get all the emails with hypothyroid. It doesn't matter what ailment you have, it works every time. So thermogenic eating, notice the lovely colors of the rainbow. This is green and beige. So it's got um, lots of two green vegetables, my favorite, broccoli and spinach, cauliflower, a little bit of pepper, and shrimp. Fish is the secret to weight loss. Chicken won't, dump, won't do the same thing. Okay, so, so how simple shrimp, is this? salmon, tuna. That's right. And okay. any, I go through this in depth in my book, but a college student actually gave me this idea. She says she goes to the buffet and she fills a glass with this, like this with her food, and she goes back to her room and eats it in quiet. Now, another important point is our stomach is She's roughly. She's disciplined. Yeah, well, what a good idea. Yeah, that is a good because idea. Because it presents nice and it's cute and everybody loves it, so it's more attractive to eat. Mm. I love it. I'm eating that later, by the way. Oh, it looks good. The next one, you got to snack lean. Women are grabbing almonds and eating them by the bag and pistachios. While they're very healthy if you struggle with portion control, which we do when we're under stress, um, you're not, it's not going to work for you. And so here's another snack. I actually brought this little, sh this is my sugar vial, known around <laughs> the globe. If you were to do this shake, or any shake for that matter on the market, and have a yogurt, um, anyone, you're going to, at the end of the day, in those two spots, have taken in that much sugar for the day, which shuts your weight loss switch off. Okay, so, so stay away from sugar. Yeah, and remember we were talking about 76% of women eat because we're stressed. 33% of men do it, and this is exempt from no one, whether you're six years old or 86. What do we crave when we're stressed? Ice cream. Sugar, ice cream, <laughs> that's right, fat, sugar, all the good things. So if we have to not trigger our sweet tooth and our fat tooth, we have to put things on our body that are gonna shut that trigger switch off. All right, good stuff. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Lisa Lynn, I love when you bring in these five these pound are my special friends. disgusting things, <laughs> but they are good visual representations, for sure.
Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Hey, for more information, you can always head to our website, WTNH.com. Just click on that on-air tab, pull it down to the Good Morning Connecticut Weekend section.